and LeFace and all that. It was great to watch. And when someone has that kind of work ethic, it makes you work harder. So you left AEG and you're still active in the business. You're working with one of the hottest online hacks in the world. The billions of downloads and views. Insane. Talk about your day to day. Okay. I was involved with a internet pioneer named Steve Miller and my longtime partner, Dave Loeffler, who managed Usher and Lionel Richie with me. And we together, he was actually in a group that sold a couple of million records called EYC. So he's been with me for like 20 plus years. And we were starting this thing called Halogen, which was a social media monetization engine. It's an app and it's actually coming to market this year. And it's spectacular from a technology standpoint. Hmm. And then in order to do Halogen, we created a group that would have been quick. We needed content that we could control before we could sell it to bigger stars and to <laughs> labels and stuff like that. And we found these five kids knew each other and they were on the circuit. They were all solo stars. And one of the prerequisites that Dave and I had was that they had to have at least 70,000, 100,000 followers on the three platforms that mattered at the time, which were burgeoning Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, not Snapchat. And we got very, very lucky because we got these five kids and they were all the voices, the look, the personalities. And so after they auditioned and the whole thing, they sat down, the five of them, and I said, do you guys really know what it means to be in a group since you've all been solo artists trying to get your career started? So you got to be unselfish, share parts, work together. I mean, it's a different kind of thing, you know, and you have to really want to do it. And the youngest one looked at the other four and said, why don't we? And that's how the name, why don't we, happened. It was that organic. They got so big that halogen, you know, is like a small part of what they're about. They've just transcended what was the original reason for me to even do this. And when I was talking, my partner, Dave, who came out of a quote unquote boy band that was successful in its day called EYC, he and I talked about it. We looked at where the business was. There were no boy bands. One Direction had pretty much run its course, made two and a half billion dollar gross, but it run its course. They left the place open for that. Yeah. 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 And they were doing their solo things. So that we felt that there was an opening for a boy band. Now, my guys, they're like my kids. They call themselves the man band. <laughs> okay. And because they are a little more sophisticated right. and a little cooler. But we filled the slot and we broke them. If you look at why don't we, okay, it is the perfect example of the modern music business because we broke them without a label. Now, we're with Atlantic now, and Atlantic's been an incredible partner and has elevated the quality of the music and the A&R and, the radio, of course, radio. But this group broke off of social media and their interaction with their fans and being able to deal and speak directly to their fan base and put music out independently. We put out five EPs in a year, 25 songs plus a Christmas song. That's an amazing amount of content. Yeah, and we keep feeding the beast. Even now, we do a song and video a month, and the one that raises its hand, like Eight Letters, which was the recent single that went top 20, when one raises its hand, we chase it at radio. But, we, but the beauty of it is we have the data and the analytics of Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, to look at the songs that are really reacting. So you know which one's the one. We know the one to go after. Let the public speak. Yeah. And then the kids are getting all these great videos and great content, and they love these kids. They have 4 million hardcore Instagram followers, and that 4 million will become 40 million with the radio hit, because then it spreads past their core fan base. But they speak directly to those kids every time they post. And they post as Why Don't We Music, and they post individually as Jonah, Daniel, and the whole thing. It's just an amazing thing to watch. So if you're asking me what my passion is, the passion is doing this in large part because I've done it for other managers or been a big part, was a very big part of Justin Bieber. As Scooter tells people all the time, I taught him about the live business since that's not where he came from. And we had a huge amount of success with Bieber. And I just figured this time I'll do one for myself, <laughs> for my partners. So from the time that you were in law school and found your way to the industry to running AEG, what's the goal? Where's the future for you? Well, you know, I want to do more content. Like, why don't we? I have another kid 
Eben, who are breaking off of the coattails. He tours with Why Don't We? Breaking off the well, coattails. Oh, you took a book from Louis. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But on the content side, we just made a massive deal for him with Atlantic Records. It feels good. I really love, as I sail into my retirement years, if those are even possible for a type A Jew like me, <laughs> but I get a bigger kick for all the superstars I've worked with my whole career. I get a bigger kick at watching an act break. Something that I've always been impressed with you in particular is there's some people that are great at working a lobby. Wayne Forte, Bill Silva, mm -hmm. Rapino, people that can glide through a room and, and do it so well. You remember everyone. You were so good at remembering people's names and why you knew them. And you can watch you work a lobby that's packed and somehow, and I know you're, you know, peripheral and whatever, but like making everybody feel like they belong and finding a second and like, it's an art. I had to learn that. That wasn't a natural thing. I actually came from politics. I worked for a congressman named Dick Ottinger out of Westchester County, New York. And my job, when I was a young kid, was to remember and write down all the people he met so I could tell him. And it's a skill that I then employed for myself when I went into business. Because there's nothing like, I mean, Bill Clinton's the greatest at it, okay? He walks into a room, you think you're the only one he's talking to when he meets you. I have to say this, look, we're in a hardcore business, okay? And not, obviously I've been in it a long time and it's done 